folks today is another day uh, checking snares and what I want to do today is take you to each spot and um, show you how I have them set and try to explain a little bit to why I set there so we're at the first location now so we're gonna mosey right on over As you can see here, there's a log. Hope you can see pretty good, folks. I can't. Here we go. Take my sunglasses off. There's a log um, going across the trail. There's a snare. Right in that trail there. It's set about nine to ten inches round. Got my ribbon. The reason I said here was most of the sets that we have set on this farm, um, when we had a skip of snow, we noticed that there were several canines traveling through that area. So, and that's exactly what happened here. I uh, had a canine tracks going through here so we went ahead and just set it up to see if we'd have any luck uh, this is about let's see day number four maybe that we've had this one here four or five and uh, that tells me that it probably was a coyote that would that have gone through here before because if it was a red fox, um, it probably would have been back through by now. So let's get on to the next spot. Okay, we're approaching set number two for the day. And um, this one was pulled down. I don't know if you can see it or not. See if I can get this in there for you. Let's see it pulled down there. So I'm going to go ahead, reset this back. Let's see, maybe I can do that real quick like this. Okay, and like set number one, the reason we set this was there was um, tracks that went under this fence right here in the snow. And it's going back here to check for mice and rabbits and this old uh, home place thing. Okay, off to the next set. Okay, as we approach set number three, you can pretty well see why I would set this. This is actually a trail going through um, an open spot. And if you look, the trail goes right on up through. There's a log. Hard to see through this viewfinder. Okay. There's the log. There's the snare. And nothing in it. Um, this is obvious. This trail going through here it had canine tracks. And, uh, of course, over here at the fence is another trail going through, but that tends to be deer by the tracks. Okay, off to the next set. Okay, folks, we're off to our next set, and uh, <clears throat> I just wanted to uh, 
mention that today is February 5th and it is 65 degrees Fahrenheit out. Not necessarily the, the greatest trapping weather, but I'm enjoying it because last week at this time we were hitting zero degrees Fahrenheit. Just wanted to let y'all know that. Okay, folks, we are at set number four, and I think it's fairly obvious why I have this one set. You know, it's pretty thick, and there is a spot right beside of this tree that in the snow, uh, there were tracks coming through there. So we went ahead and set it up for an auxiliary set, I guess you might say, uh, in case they come through, we can capitalize on a catch. So, up the road to the next set. Well, we're at the next set, and um, I'm right in front of the set, and as you can see, there are canine tracks. Over here, there you go, there's these tracks again, let's see here, okay. they didn't go through the fence. Just about my luck. The good part about it is this is set number five right here. The good part is I have more sets up this way. And that was a coyote track, folks. Pretty big one, too. Off to the next set. Okay, boys and girls, we're pulling up to the next set. This is set number six, I believe. And this is the one where I've already caught two red foxes. But today... There's, there's nothing in the set. To the next set we go. We are at set number seven, and the reason that we set this one up is as you see, there's a pretty good waterway there. Uh, three logs that the farmer put across there so he could cross, and when there was snow on the ground, the middle log had coyote tracks crossing it. So what we had done, we put a uh, 10 inch snare, or, or, or a snare with a 10 inch loop, uh, 10 inches off the bottom of the log, and we put obstacles on the other logs to uh, cause them to use the center one. And of course, my opinion is when they do cross a log like that, they're not standing straight up. Uh, I think they would be hunkering down to keep their balance and therefore their heads would fit into the snare loop perfectly. Just my little opinion. Off to the next set. All right, folks, we are walking up to set number eight. You see it's set around the old house. And there is an old cattle trail that cuts through here. 
we did see, yes, we did see canine tracks on it in the snow. And so as you can see, hope you can because I can't. There's a snare right in it, right there, right in there, right at that pinch point. This is number eight. So I'm just going to turn straight around. Hope it didn't move the camera too quick for you. And go to snare number nine. And this is one, if you can remember, where I caught a red fox. Right there. That's number nine. Number 10 is actually right there. That's about a five or six inch loop. I actually saw when we had snow a coon come through and went under this snare and went down into this basement of this old house. And I never did see any tracks coming back up, so I went ahead, blocked it off, and set a snare. Off to the next one. All right, folks, we're on number 11 and 12. I caught a nice big coon in this one. Right there. And over here we saw tracks in the snow going under there. So we set this one. and uh, I've not caught anything here yet, but I did have it knocked down by something. Alright, so there's 11 and 12. As we move up the trail here, we see number 13. Right there. I haven't caught anything here yet, but this is just a security snare, and just in case they happen to go through. Alright folks, here's number 14. Exactly in a fence that I saw Red Fox tracks coming through, and uh, I'm still waiting on him to return. Number 14. And boys and girls, here's number 15. Coming uh, down a trail at a pinch point, right along the fence, with a thicket on the left and a pinch point. The snare set in. Number 16, folks, and I think it speaks for itself. This is also along the fence at a pinch point. And here's number 17.
I did catch a red fox here and we did post it on uh, Facebook and YouTube number 17 self-explanatory okay folks this is set number 18 and if you remember me talking to you the other day about a coyote chasing a rabbit under a brush pile and we found a tunnel here's that guy Try to find him in my viewfinder. I think this is it, right? About there. Perfect tunnel goes all the way through to the other side of this brush pile. So it's going to be used, just don't know when. This is probably the fourth day uh, that I've checked this. Set number 18. Alright boys and girls, we're walking up on set number 19. And this is the one where I caught the coon yesterday. And it looks like it's still set. Right there. I know it looks like there's a log in front of it. It's not. They've been using it like that. Foxes can go under it. Coyotes can go around it. Right in here. Right in the set. As I said, this is number 19. This is where I caught the coon yesterday. Last but not least, number 20 on this farm. And um, I think the location is self-explanatory. trail running up along the fence and off to the left there blocked off that may have spooked some coyotes when I did that there so maybe I'll get used to it for next year so that's my trap line snare line actually um, 20 sets only one visitation where it pulled down the snare at uh, I think it was number two so this is JW from Stevens Family Outdoors uh, wishing you the best day have a good one in those West Virginia